Hello girls, welcome to our Fun Patch Friday. So I know we're all excited for today, but sadly it's going to be the last one. So we had a great eight weeks with y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in and really participating in the activities. We appreciate it so much and we're so glad that we got to bring these activities to you in your own home. And so today we're doing something a little different. It's gonna be a little fun. So what we're doing is the camping challenge. So unfortunately it doesn't get to be be too interactive because I'm on live and I don't get to have other people on live with me so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a small activity um, during the live and while we're doing the activity y'all feel free to um, comment in the, the comment section um, and just kind of you know say your favorite fun patch Friday activity or talk about you know what you learned while doing the activities or anything that has to do with our fun patch Friday because like I said today is going to be be the last fun patch Friday that we have with y'all so we'd love to hear your um, feedback we'd love to hear you know what you love to do or you could also just share some ideas with us about what others can do during their time um, while we're in our homes so if you have done any fun activities in your own home please feel free to share that as well so we'd love for you to use the comment section to kind of just say again like your favorite activities or anything that you really loved and enjoyed from fun patch friday and once we get into the um tent which we have already set up here so this is our camping challenge today so once we get in there after we're finished with our small activity that we're going to use in our um in our tent then we're going to go ahead and read some of the comments and kind of just you know kind of connect with y'all in any way that we can because we're really going to miss you all and i'm just so sad that this is our last fun patch friday but i'm so glad that you all stuck around and that y'all tuned in and participated in the activities so we're going to go ahead and i'm just going to give you a couple pointers of how to make a inside tent i know probably a lot of us already know but for those who maybe haven't already done it we're just going to give a few pointers and kind of tell you how we did ours so we're going to go ahead and face the camera this way All right, so as you could tell, here we just utilized our blankets and our chairs. And so here we have one chair, two chairs, and three chairs. So we set this tent up by having our structure of three chairs in a triangle. And now you went ahead and put over a big blanket right on top of that. And so the blanket kind of ends right here, but we wanted, you know, a little door to kind of cover up um, because this is your own personal tent, so it's a good place to just hang out. Maybe you can take a nap in there, read some books, whatever you want to do. And so I wanted to add a little door, so we added just a small little blanket that we could pick up and put down whenever we feel the need to. So in our tent, we just have a blanket laid on the floor, and then we have some pillows in there, and we're going to grab some books to put in there. And so this is our little tent that we're doing today. So this is what we're going to be hanging out in. And before we get started, like I said, we're gonna do a small activity. So in our tent, we have little lanterns. So these are really cute. They don't light up as much as we would like because it's only a little tea light, but it's a really cute decoration and it's something that, you know, you could really put in there as, as if you're camping outside. So, you know, usually there's the big lanterns that you take when you camp outside, but inside we have natural lighting and maybe even flashlights. So this could just be a cute decoration to have in your inside tent. So we're gonna do this activity. It's actually really simple because we're using just a regular plastic cup, nothing too special. We're using just um, a paper, like kind of, it's a lightweight paper. And then right here I have, um, you know, like something that's not a string, but we're using string today because that's easier to find. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let you know exactly what you need. So here we're using I said a plastic cup we have one tea light we're going to need scissors to cut the bottom for the tea light to go into we're going to have our so I already made one previously just to make sure that the size worked but to make the top piece of this I use just a circle that's a little bigger than the cup because what you're gonna do is cut to the middle and kind of use that circle to make it a little smaller so that it looks like a lantern top. And we have our hole puncher to punch in the holes on the sides and our string for the top. And I also have some markers that we're going to be using to um, decorate the outside 
of the cup, and I have double stick tape for putting the top together, but you could also use glue or anything that works with you. And in order to have the top stay on the cup, I soup, um, I use the hot glue gun to put that right on there just on the two sides. So I have the hot glue gun plugged in here, but make sure if you're using a hot glue gun that you have your um, parents supervise everything that you're doing because it is a little dangerous, it is really hot. And so we're gonna go ahead and just get started here. So the first thing I'm going to do is color my cup. And I have a few colors here. I think I'm going to do purple. I really enjoy this color. And so I'm just gonna do small decorations. I think I'm gonna just write words on there instead of have, um, you know, no words and just decorations. So I'm gonna actually put here, camp in. actually has some texture to it so you can't really see the marker too much so instead of decorating with this small point um, marker I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I created it and you if you're doing this with also a texture cup be sure to have um, kind of a thicker point on the end and I'm going to just show you how to do this and you could decorate yours however you'd like so I'm going to go ahead and start by I just have a small box cutter here that I'm just gonna make a small slit with so that I could go in with my scissors. And if you're using something um, sharp like this, be sure to have a parent supervision. And so I'm just gonna make a small little hole. is that you want it to be, you don't want it to be too big, the hole too big, because you want the light to just fit perfectly in there. So as you could tell, my light is, so I could pop it out and I could pull it back out because the way I shaped it, so I have it out here and you're gonna need this hole because we're going to glue super glue this so if you want to be able to turn the light on and off you definitely need this hole at the bottom so I did it just enough to where it stays right there if I need it to so you don't want it to be too big of a hole so you kind of have to play around with it a little bit so I'm just gonna go in with my scissors This part is the most tedious because we all know how difficult it is to cut through plastic, especially when you have to make a hole because you can't just go right in and cut. I'm just gonna make this hole a little bigger. So for those just tuning in, right now we're making our cup lanterns. So I have my plastic cup right here, and I'm going to start to cut the hole out. So I have a slit already. You want to start small and then go bigger. So this cup is a little more difficult. I feel it's a little thicker than the one I used before. So I just want to be sure to not go too much and cut little by little. So if you don't have these materials right now, I know we didn't really have these posted because it just came to my head that, you know, maybe a lot of us already know how to make tents. So this was originally going to be like a tent tutorial on how to get a mega tent. But then I noticed, you know, there's a lot of camp challenge going, camping, um, you know, activities going on. And so I think it'd be just a really great idea to, you know, have you 
make your own tent and we just have like cute accessories to go in there. So we'll be posting these um, materials, a list of them after the video is posted. You can put them in the comments just so you know exactly what you're going to need. And so during this time, if you don't have these materials right now, go ahead and feel free if your parents allow, you can make your own tent as well. So we have our tent already set up. So if you wanna take this time to make your own tent, feel free to do that. Because like I said in the beginning, um, we're hoping that this could be kind of an interactive Fun Patch Friday, just because it is our last one, sadly. Uh, and so we want to be able to, after we make this um, little lantern, we wanna be able to sit in our, um, in our tent and we wanna be able to read the wonderful comments. And like we said, you could post in the comments um, any fun activity, anything that you really enjoyed from Fun Patch Friday, anything that you learned, um, just anything that you wanna post in there. If you wanted to say hi, um, anything like that, we wanna be able to interact with you all once we are done with this and once we get into our tent. So during this time, if you wanna just put any comments in the comment box, and then we're gonna go ahead and look through them, read through them while we're sitting in our tent and finally get to have a moment with you all. All right, so I have my hole. So like I said, I went a little smaller and so it doesn't fit too much. So that means I just have to go off a little more and I don't wanna do too much because it's already right there. I just have to get it to fit a little more. difficult to cut with these scissors. But I cut it. So make sure if you're using any scissors, any hot glue guns, anything that is a little dangerous, be sure to have your parents with you during that time. Make sure you have their supervision. So we're almost there, just need a little more. But like I said, it's always best to start small and cut more rather than cut too much and it just doesn't work out. So you wanna go little by little. my hole just small enough to fit it to where it sticks out a little because remember that's what we want we want to be able to have it stick out just a little so we could be able to turn on and off the light so we got it in there so that's the first step that you want to do just because you don't want to um, decorate your whole cup and maybe you kind of you know cut a little too big on the bottom and then it doesn't fit the way you want it to so you want this to be the first step so that you know that the cup is ready, you have the hole, and you have everything fitting perfect so that you know that this is the cup you're gonna use. So that's the first step you wanna do. So we have that, and now we're gonna go in and I'm gonna show you how I do the top. So I'm just gonna grab paper over here. I really love this color, just a light pink. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and, like I said, I have a circle here, and it's just a little bigger, so as you can tell, it's a little bigger than the circle that we have on here. So you want it to be bigger and we're just going to trace that out. All right. And we're going to cut that. All right. So hopefully if you're just tuning in right now, we're doing our camping challenge. We have our tent set up. So during this time, you can make your own tent with your parents' permission. And then we're all going to camp in virtually together. So I wish I was able to kind of connect with y'all and see you, your tents. And so um, during this time, just feel free to make your own and comment in the comment section your favorite part about Fun Patch Friday since this is the last one. All right, so I cut out my circle and I made 
a slit just to the middle of the circle and to one side. So with that slit, you're going to just kind of lay one over, one side on top, and it's gonna kind of make this shape. So that's the shape that you want for your the top of your lantern. And so I have double stick tape here, but feel free to use some glue. So I'm just gonna put that right on there. I'm just gonna hold it together. One more, so it stays down on this edge. All right, so I've got the top. Now I'm gonna go ahead and punch some holes for our string on the side. And you wanna make sure that they're pretty even. There's a straight line. All right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut the string. Do this at whatever length you'd like, but just make sure that it's long enough to hang over so that you have some room to carry it. And then I'm just going to put it through, and I'm going to use a double stick tape to tape it down, to tape the string down in here. But you can tie it around if you'd like, whatever works for you. So I have my string in here, and I'm just going to tape that in. So it looks just like that. I have the tape right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Miss Allison, do we have some comments coming in? Mm -hmm. Good feedback. Thank y'all so much for participating. We'd love to see your comments. We'd love to see what you loved about Fun Patch Friday, or like we said in the beginning, if you have any ideas of what other Girl Scouts can do in their homes during this time, we'd love to hear any feedback that you have, any comments, even if it's just to pop in and say hi, whatever you'd like. So right now we have our top done, we have our bottom done, so now we're gonna put them together. So this part, I use a hot glue gun because it stays really well. So like I said, if you're using a hot glue gun, make sure to have parent supervision. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do two dots on the sides. That's really all you need. So I have one little dot, two little dots. And then we're gonna go ahead and just put this right on. However you'd like to lay it on there. And just make sure that you push a little where the glue is. Make sure that it's on correctly. All right, and that is our lantern. Super cute. So you get to turn this on and off. Right now we're gonna keep it on. And like I said earlier, I tried to do it with my um, with these markers, my cup's a little textured, so it's a little difficult, you can't really tell. Um, but if you have thicker Sharpies or anything else that you'd like to use on there, you could even put little stickers all around. And so you could decorate this however you'd like. You could even draw on the um, top part if you'd like to before you put it on there or after, whichever is easier. And so this is our cute little lantern. And so we also have our s'more, s'mores ingredients here and so I like to have my s'mores without the marshmallow melted I know it's a little weird uh, but if you'd like to if you do have a gas stove feel free to have your parents um, you know have them hold the marshmallow over the stove and just kind of roast it a little for you I believe there's other ways to do it in the microwave if that also works um, but just like I said always have parent supervision when you're doing anything um, that's a little hazardous and go ahead and enjoy with your s'mores and your lantern and your tent and so I have my chocolate bar here I have Hershey's and I'm just gonna go ahead and break that in half so here I have I know most of us Girl Scouts probably already know how to make s'mores. That's probably our favorite part of being a Girl Scout when we go camping to make our s'mores. And 
So we have our graham cracker, our chocolate bar, we put our marshmallow, you can melt that if you want, and then we just go ahead and put the other side with the same thing, and close that up. And that's our little s'more sandwich. Alright? Alright, so now that we have all of our fun things, we have our s'more snack, we have our lanterns, we're going to go ahead and head to the tent, and we're going to read your wonderful comments and we're going to try to be able to interact with y'all in the comments if y'all are up to it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my lanterns. We're going to leave this snack out here. I'm going to eat that when this is all over. So let's go ahead and head over. And so y'all can see the inside of my tent. I have my door here. And now we're going to go ahead and slip inside here. We have our lanterns. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the comments. So let's see. We're going to go ahead and turn this over. All right. So let's see. Hello, Temperance. So I'm just going to go I'll start all the way from the top. Hello. So good to see y'all on here. Wendy and Yuliana, how are y'all? Hello, Bethany from Pearland. Oh, you're going to be a brownie. Awesome. That is so exciting. Thank you so much for being a part of Girl Scouts. You're going to love it. Oh, thank you, Kendall. I like them all. Thank you so much. We're so glad that you joined us and participated in each Fun Patch Friday. So there is eight of them. So if you have not done some of the activities, feel free to go back to the videos and do whichever ones you didn't do and um, and kind of do those fun activities. Let's see, Miss Alina from Troop 332. Her favorite activity was the unicorn poke cake. Oh, that one was my favorite as well because I was able to eat the cake after. It was so good. Hello. Oh, I hope that I don't pronounce this wrong because it... Uma Misa. Oh, I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong from Troop 13467. Thank you so much for tuning in. And Miss Denise loved the charades and the, the Girl Scout trivia. She learned a lot through the trivia. Miss Mackenzie from Troop 2085 awesome yes that trivia was a little difficult i'm so glad that a lot of people knew the answers to those y'all knew each answer that is so awesome it was such a fun trivia especially the charades was my favorite part too <laughs> and let's see oh miss erica temperance got her fun patches in the mail i'm so glad and if you have not received your fun patches we did um we pre-ordered about 35 of them um we didn't know how many people were going to you know participate and so we are um ordering more so if you have not received yours you will be receiving them soon i'm so sorry about that we did place another order just for y'all so thank you so much for um really exceeding our expectations um you know y'all really did all of the activities that is so awesome thank you so much um, so you actually do not have to pay for the patches it is provided by our council so um, so it is a free fun patch Friday activity so we wanted it to be able um, we wanted to be able to give this experience to girls and kind of you know make it free of charge so that it's just a fun activity for you all to do and so we, we have, we don't have a tea light, but could use a glow stick. That is a really great idea. Yes, so if you don't have a tea light, feel free to use any other light. Um, Miss Allison kind of, you know, she suggested a glow light, which is a really great idea. Thank you so much. And they also got their fun patches yesterday. Great, so exciting. I can't wait for y'all to be able to put those on your vest. It's gonna look so awesome. All right. Thank you, Miss Erica. These, those are so cute. Thank you, Miss Sarah. Yes, <laughs> they are super cute. I really loved this one. This is the first one that I did, and I had, you know, like a wire. This one, I think it's um like a jewelry wire. So if you do happen to have any of these around, I think it kind of provides a really cute aesthetic to this lantern. Um, but I wanted to make it easy for for anybody who, you know, it's a little difficult to go out and get supplies 
size so i just use yarn on this one to make it simple but if you could find you know anything that you could add to these lanterns it's gonna turn out so cute thank you miss erica reyes how creative thank you let's see hi is it rebel from troop 72004 hello all the way from florida thank you for tuning in let's see since this is the last fun patch friday can we go back and watch yes so you can do um you can definitely go back and watch um and just kind of participate in those activities that's totally fine we do um hope that you do that so that you do get all the fun patches that you can earn so hello hello troop 2309 hello miss mary ellen thank you for tuning in let's see thank you for fun patch fridays gave us something creative to look forward to yes thank you so much for tuning in i'm so glad that y'all you know did the activities with us we were so happy doing these for you we had so much fun <laughs> loved all the fun we had thank you so much yes thank you i'm glad you all had fun and yes it is a good idea to make a lantern just to have you know in your little tent it'll kind of you know give a little bit of light not too much but just enough <laughs> let's see so yes you can go back and watch the ones that you missed let's see troop 1480 from jacksonville florida Thank you for tuning in. Thank you so much for being with us here at Girl Scouts of Southwest Texas. Oh, thank you so much, Miss Cassandra. She says she likes them. Let's see, Viola and Brooklyn says she loved all the activities. Thank you so much for making this an accessible activity for us. My daughter was so excited to get the patches in the mail. I'm so glad, I'm so glad that um, they received their patches. And like I said, I can't wait for them to be able to put them on their vests and rock those patches. Thank you all so much for participating in those activities and earning those patches. Let's see, cute, very cute yes s'mores are the perfect snack to make for indoor camping <laughs> let's see from troop troop 590 jocelyn a little brownie we're so glad to have you here thank you for joining us all righty and i did pronounce that name right thank you so much <laughs> Let's see, Maddie, a daisy from Troop 347. Hello, Maddie. We're so glad that you joined Girl Scouts. You're going to have an awesome experience. It's going to be so fun. Be sure to, to um, earn all the patches if you haven't already. And that's going to be a great start to your little daisy vest. So Emma from North Carolina, her favorite was the poke cake and trivia. Yay! so awesome the trivia was so fun <laughs> grace from troop 30283 and ella from 30290 hello let's see so i got some good feedback here i hope everybody loved the fun patch fridays if you don't already know this is our last one today we're so glad to be able to spend these um fun eight weeks with y'all they were really fun activities we're so happy to be able to put these on for y'all so troop 26214 is here savannah she's a senior and she's planning on making these with her cousins perfect yes and all you need is some cups and just a few supplies it's a really easy and cute activity so julia from a troop 00673 she loved the unicorn cake the most and she says thank you so much for doing this she is not going to she's going to miss not having fun patches next week oh, i'm so sorry yes i i wish that we could just keep this going maybe um i think we're planning on doing something fun next week so keep an eye out for that um it might be a little surprise but just keep an eye on our facebook to see if we're doing something for y'all so hello, yay, hi Jamie, let's see, hi, how are you, I'm good, how are you all, so glad that y'all are tuning in, let's see, so we'll do a couple more, thank you from Lila Troop 601 and Bryn from Troop 8 and Seguin, thank you all for joining us, thank you so much, we had fun. You saved our summer. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> y'all made this summer fun for us because we were able to do this for y'all. 
So thank you. 1065, 3065. New York State, Troop 60006. Awesome. Can we still get the badges that we did not do? So yes, you can definitely go back um, to our Fun Patch Friday videos and you could do any um, patches that you did not get to do. Feel free to go back and earn some. So let's see, making our fort. Some more, some more items are ready. Awesome, Troop 2309. I hope you all have fun having a little camp in with your tent. Don't forget to make the lanterns. Like I said, we didn't put this in the... Um, in the description before for the materials you needed. So we're gonna go ahead and um, find a way to either add this to the description or um, add it in the comment box. Once this video is over, I'm gonna put everything that you need in there. And how do we find the earlier activities? So they should be in the, um, if you go to the video section, uh, it should have, I believe, a Fun Patch Friday video folder. Um, and just try to find that in there. I'm not sure if there's any way to add a link to the video folder, but try your best to go through the videos and they'll be in there. So Aaliyah from Troop 40740. Hello. Let's see. Thank you so much. This has been so much fun. Yes, thank you all. So that was the last comment. Thank you all for commenting and joining us for this. We're so glad to be able to share these moments with you all. Thank you for all of the feedback. We're going to miss this so much. But like I said, feel free to um, keep an eye on our Facebook and see if we have anything fun and exciting coming up. We're hoping to do something for next Friday. Hopefully if our um, plans go the way that we want them to, we're hoping to put something on for y'all. So keep an eye out for that. And so, like, um, if you don't already know, um, you're going to have to fill out the the form with the link in the description and that's how you're going to get your patch for this activity and for each activity that you do do not forget to fill out the form because that is how we um, have your mailing address in order to send out the patches so thank you all so much for all of the you know the activity participation that you all have been doing for us thank you so much for joining us and we hope that you have a great friday we hope that you have the best time um, continue to you know earn fun patches and continue to just engage in Girl Scouts and get all of the badges that you can. I know that mostly everything is on, um, you know, virtual now. So feel free to use this time as a great opportunity to earn badges and patches for your vest. They're going to look so awesome when y'all wear them after earning all of these fun, um, you know, fun little things that you could put on your vest it's gonna look so awesome so thank you all so much for joining us and we hope to uh, continue to have you all engage with us and we'll see you um hopefully next friday if we have something going on so thank you all so much bye